Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. Um, so we are going to do a tutorial to refund someone on PayPal. Uh, it's quite a simple process it is, so um, we'll just get straight into it. So the first thing you do is go to paypal.com help if I put in three W's. Click login. Put in your user ID and password. So, um, I, today I'm going to be refunding a lady. Um, before I moved to eBay Manage Payments, um, there was a lady about six weeks ago who says, yeah, so I, who I sent the wrong item to, and then once I that, she came back to me, so I sent her a replacement, and after I sent her the replacement, she's now saying it never arrived. She's also left me negative feedback on my eBay account, so I've agreed with her that I'll just refund her the money and she'll remove the negative feedback. So today, let's do that, okay? So once you've logged in, click on activity up here, then go to all transactions. So this, her transaction was on the 1st of June this year. Okay, so see if we can find her. Scroll down. So this is the lady here. So it's only a small amount. So here, she can click refund here. It's a little bit slow today. So here it brings up all her details, her name, transaction ID, the amount, the, the amount of refund. So here actually in some cases you can do a partial refund. So we can see this is the amount being refunded by me. This is the amount that PayPal is actually going to refund on fees. But if I change this, said we were only refund this lady 450, it automatically recalculates and it changes the amount that actually PayPal is refunding that I'm refunding. So in this case, I'm actually going to refund it all because that's what I agreed for, with her. So that we've, we've put in all our amounts. Next thing is the invoice number. So if you had an invoice number, you could put it in here, but it's completely optional. You don't actually have to do it. Again, um, you can put in a note. So uh, I'm going to write refund for jade roller so i sent i sold this lady a jade roller which went missing um so it's as simple as that then you click issue refund it's processing so it says this lady has been refunded so hopefully she should be happy with that and um, if you're doing this on your mobile it's exactly the same process there's n absolutely no difference you just go to ebay to, or sorry not ebay go to paypal.com you log in find the transaction you want if there's a lot of them you might need to go out through your activity and go customer that you can probably identify it from your ebay order which is probably easier if it is an ebay order even though most people have probably moved to manage payments now so that's it it's pretty straightforward um i hope this helped you uh if you did can you please give me a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. And have a good day, everyone. Thanks.